Welcome back to Patriot Specialized Thursday morning. Sitting in Knoxville, made it to Knoxville last night. We are run over here and give Ghost a bath real quick. Get her all cleaned up, get that salt off of her. And uh, we're gonna run down and delivery. Don't have a load yet, so we're gonna see what happens. Stick around. Right across these plains and prairies, rocky mountain highs, fade off into the distance like ghost riders in the sky. Black smoke and white wine, steel horses side by side. It's more than just a living, y'all. Hell, it's our way of life. We're the last of the cowboys. What's going on guys? So Thursday afternoon, we got delivered with our tank this morning. You just saw that. <clears throat> we are now in, believe this or not, it's actually a place, Peachtree City, Georgia. Or Peachtree City, Georgia picking up to go to Wycliffe, Ohio. I found this load at the very last second. Last episode, you heard me talking about uh, how I didn't have a load yet. And I was literally waiting for them to back the tank off the trailer and I found this load. So a little bit different, a little bit uh, goofy shit I had to do here, but um, I'm going to jump out and show you the load, and then we're going to get out of here because we are going to be fighting with Atlanta traffic. I am absolutely certain of that. So, here we go. These are three electric fork trucks. You see one thing already that I don't normally do, I'm sure. I'm sure you guys already picked up on it. These things are 11 foot 2 inches tall. They're actually 11 foot 4 a little extra piece up on top there that I couldn't I wasn't using my hot pole I was using my tape measure so what I did here on each one they weigh just under 9,000 pounds each so I took let me see if I can get out of the way here <clears throat> there we go I took two chains I went wrapped around the front that keeps it from moving backwards and another chain wrapped it around the back one these chains go all the way across one binder on this side so we get full credit for each one of those chains so right there, we got 13,000 pounds of securement on a 9,000 pound load, and they wanted it tarped. 
They only cared about dashboard, but I had this tarp and it had a huge rip in it and it wasn't really useful and it wasn't going to be useful or even repaired. So I cut it up into slits, used it for this, and this it worked out perfect for this. Again, same thing here, one chain in front, one chain in back. Got it all tarped up. I don't know if these tarps are going to hold, but we're going to find out. Same thing on the back one, one chain on the front, one chain on the back. Got it all tarped up. So pretty easy load. The whole load weighs less than 30,000 pounds. Pretty easy load. They came out, picked them up with another forklift and put them on. Uh, we chained them down real quick, threw our tarps on. It took a little bit longer than I wanted it to, or I thought it should because, you know, I'm not used to tarping. So <laughs> making, the, making the guy that doesn't tarp, tarp. So that, uh... oh man, we got a little. There we go. All right. So we are going to get on the road. Hopefully I'll run four or five hours off this thing tonight and we will be able to get it delivered this afternoon or uh, tomorrow afternoon, maybe with any luck tomorrow morning, late morning, but we're going to see what happens. So that's my goal. We're going to try to get this thing delivered tomorrow, get it off the trailer and then we will be done for the weekend, I think. So talk to y'all soon. What's going on? Friday morning. <clears throat> Friday, Friday. Made it back up to Knoxville last night. Had some... Had a bunch of trouble in Chattanooga. Not trouble, but just traffic. Um, tra Chattanooga was worse than Atlanta. Um, there was an accident, and it just cost me an hour almost made me go over my hours to get to the truck stop in knoxville but uh we made it happen i had to make adjustment on the logbook but um made it to knoxville last night looks like we're about eight hours and 14 minutes out of delivery the goal is to make delivery on these today and be empty for the weekend that's the goal so i'm gonna go to make sure these things aren't uh, trying to fall off my trailer and my tarps are staying still and uh we're gonna get on the road, so. go another video started with me going well you know uh, he just saw me load these forklifts uh, these forklifts are electric forklifts and it's Friday customer is open till 6 I believe that's at least that's what the internet says I can't get a hold of anybody up there to find out it's a choose your own adventure line I can never get anybody the answer so left a couple voicemails letting them know that I'm coming but I should be there well I should have been there about three o'clock but as per the usual, uh, we have something going on here on 71 in Ohio that is got us at a slowdown. But I've been running my butt off because this is what I'm up against now. Of course. Uh, I come through Cincinnati and all the electronic signs in Cincinnati said winter weather expected 12 p.m. Friday to 1 a.m. Saturday. So electric forklift even though i got them tarped i really don't want them to get wet i'm trying to beat this weather up here and get it delivered this crap isn't helping me sitting here in a slowdown uh, i don't know why but hopefully uh hopefully we're gonna get it done so stick around we'll see if we get it done today